everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my RT members. Have fun. Hey guys, it's Cindy here. Okay, I am working on this month's prompt, which is trash um, and make it pretty to use trash. This is an old um, soda box. <clears throat> that I'm playing around with here and I've got my creative Xyron out my sticker maker and I have my tray of painted papers here so what I'm gonna do is I want to make some either tags or embellishments with this and I figured I'd bring you along in the process so I'm gonna fast forward and I hope you guys enjoy
Hey guys, alright, so apparently um, I decided not to record doing this. I'm not sure why I didn't, but it happened. So, what I wanted to do is I want to show you what I ended up making um, out of trash. This is a an old tissue box that a friend of mine brought to me. I love the design on it. And I took some jelly prints, I took some odd and end words that I had in a box, um, an old sketch, which I thought was kind of cute. And I basically just made these kind of like art cards. They're, they're really sturdy. Um, you know, they're not flimsy at all. This is out of a, a soda box or pop box, however you want to call it. Um, and I made these cards. This is just an old piece of um, gessoed and painted paper, like a leftover scrap. And I took these, some of these, like this came out of one of the country, um, studio, Somerset Studio catalog or magazines. I read them for a while, check things out, and then I pull pieces out that inspire me and I use them again on my art. Hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that. My music was, it was just combobulating with my head and it wasn't working. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so here's, like I said, this one's just an old piece of painted paper and that kind of stuff. And it says dream on it. Um, another one, this is just a die cut that I had with the word fabulous. Now these, what I plan on doing is, is using these in my uh, my year journal. And when I do, then I'll actually go through and I'll either put bling on them, maybe a little bit of glitter, do some doodling, that kind of thing. So these are basically just to start out. I've got these little cards to do. Uh, Creativity Lives, again, this came out of a Somerset Studio catalog. Um, it is another person's piece of art. I have no idea whose, and I apologize for that. But, you know, like I said, these are for my personal use. They're not for sale or any of that. So, um, these are just art cards. Now, there's a few things I can do with these. I could cover the back of them with a sticker. You know, on the sticker maker, put some, uh, either that or glue a piece of, like, copy paper on the back, something like that. What I most likely will do is just put a little blot of gesso down here so that I can do journaling on the back of it. I really don't care about the outside and what this looks like. Um, it, you know, it's just going to be another journaling card for me. So, and I'm, I'm finding out that... The more of these that I make, the more I really enjoy using them. So, you know, it, it's a little bit different looking at this saying, okay, I can put my thoughts here instead of a whole blank white page. So these are coming in really handy for me. Um, this girl, oh so lovely, again, she was just in, she's a Daniel Torrenti stamp. And she was in my die cut drawer and just oh so lovely. And again, we're using the same soda container. This one's so tired, going to bed now. Okay, and I thought, yeah, I mean, that's a great one. There's a lot of times that when I'm writing in my journal at night, I'm just like, all right, got to go. What a great little ad to put into my journal. Uh, no can do, I goofed. Again, this is some painted paper that I had. Um, the paper actually, I believe, came from Diane, Diana Babcock, and then I just left over some paint on it and then um, the music paper, and then I used that. And again, this is actually an image that I purchased um, I purchased a, a couple sheets of these and again I can't remember where or who but I really like them so I just used these on here this one's no can do I goofed and this one is just dream and then it says begin the journey these this piece here um, I have it on a few of them actually where do you them? okay these ones here these little black and white pe or the the book text with the black on them what they are is they are printed borders that last year in the crazy island university i'm sorry crazy island family facebook group we were doing a lot of swaps and that's what some of these are from um, this one here so i just cut them up and used them on the on the board this guy's cute just hello and again you know even if you just want to take that and stick it in an envelope you know just so the back of it and just write a little note to somebody you know how happy they would be to receive that in the mail just to know that they're thought of you know why not and again just odd and end little pieces of die cuts and just stuff that I've had laying around another one dreams to share this came off I have no idea I found the image somewhere so I cut her out this is a piece of lace with a heart again out of Somerset studio this is an old um, envelope that I had just used to, um, to get rid of paint on okay 
So this is just a quick video to give you an idea how to use some of your trash and make it into, I call it trash to treasures. Um, you know, you can do a lot with these and it'll be a lot of fun. You could even make, uh, if you wanted to, you could even make like a, a little book, you know, an inspirational book or a, just a book of quotes. You can put these together, maybe put a, a binder ring on them and have your quotes on the back side. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with these. So let me bring you out just a little bit. All right. So I just thought I'd share with you. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I would love to see what you do with your trash and treasure for my year. Um, definitely share with us what you've got going on, and uh, we'll chat with you all soon. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!